The Venerable Leclerc tank is the main Western armored fighting platform of the Vansal 1418 universe. Having been in service with the United Kingdom since 1992 and with all the other Commonwealth nations since 1995 when it last began replacing the M60 tanks of the Federation of North America, at a per unit price of roughly $16 million for the current model, it is the most expensive main battle tank in history. The AMX-56 Bis or Leclerc II in French orthography is a comprehensive upgrade of the original design to maintain its individual edge over current and projected Soviet MBTs for the foreseeable future. This meaning twice or repeat in French. This program, started under the initiative of the Federation of North America, began implementation in 2011. Prior to the date, Leclerc tanks were manufactured in both the UK and FNA, but output of the BIS model, the current standard, is undertaken entirely by America with only certain components being produced in the UK, meaning Leclerc production by its original designers has essentially ceased. The Leclerc II features rare designs or upgrades to nearly all of its components to one extent or another. The modular armor packets, ceramic composite blocks sandwiched between two layers of metallic hull, are of an entirely new composition incorporating depleted uranium and tungsten carbide increasing the vehicle's level of protection, but also its weight. The new hull uses large amounts of titanium to improve its effectiveness and reduce mass. The use of these rare substances, however, severely increases the tank's cost and difficulty of manufacture, yet it makes the Leclerc to a truly formidable fighting machine, far outclassing its Soviet counterparts in terms of raw armor protection. The main weapon, a GIATCN-136-40 smoothbore cannon, is entirely new, as is the turret which houses it. This gun has a bore diameter of 136 mm and a depth of 56 calibers or 7.616 meters, 136 mm x 56. This gives it a marked advantage in both range and stopping power over its Soviet enemies. The well-designed autoloader allows a rate of fire of 12 rounds per minute. Markedly superior to the any other tank, it carries a total of 38 rounds of ammunition, one in the breech, 18 in the autoloader mechanism, and another 19 ready to load. Secondary armament consists of two 12.7 mm heavy machine guns, one coaxial and one in a remote control mount on the turret roof. The original Leclerc's top-mounted MG was 7.62 mm in terms of propulsion. The Leclerc II has a hybrid diesel-electric drive train based around two V8 800 horsepower engines, compared to the conventional 1,500 horsepower V12 direct geared power plant of the original. These engines are connected to, and run, electrical generators rather than actually being responsible for powering the wheels, which are driven by electric motors instead. Thus, the Leclerc II can spend much of its time operating with only one of its engines running, allowing it to reduce fuel consumption and increase its operational range. Both engines are only ever really needed to rapidly charge its batteries or to compensate for high amounts of power usage, i.e., when the tank is in combat or moving at high speeds for extended periods. The Leclerc's digital fire control system can be operated independently by the gunner or the commander, and it offers real-time integrated imaging from all of the tank sensors and sites, including the gunner's 750 stabilized site developed by SAGAM.